I am representing here uh, three EU-funded uh, projects. Uh, in the middle, uh, this is spotted. Uh, we develop a mobile backend and mobile application tool enabling citizens to access their house data. On the right, you can see a large-scale pilot called Potential, which is uh, aiming to use the new EU DI wallet, so the European Digital Identity Wallet, uh, which will be launched in 2026 and will be a uh, European uniform identity, digital identity. And on the left, there is a joint action aiming to standardize the electronic health record exchange in Europe. Uh, we have just started this project. And uh, the first part of my presentation, I will provide you the technical details and the bright future of the technology. And in the second part of my presentation, I will give you an overview why we are not able to utilize all these developments. And we need to change our scope in Europe, as we have just heard. So this is the current situation. The infrastructure is called My Health as EU. And uh, this is available for health professionals exchanging e-prescription and the patient summary. And uh, national nodes called national contact points are connected. And through these contact points, uh, the European infrastructure is uh, connected. So in those countries where the, uh, this service is uh, in operation, health professionals can access uh, e-prescription and patient summary in a translated format from any other nation in the network. What we are doing today, and I have indicated these uh, three projects. So on the right hand side, you can see that uh, we develop a mobile backend, which will enable all the European citizens to access their data through the infrastructure and through the national contact point without involving uh, an other country in the loop. So a uh, mobile application will enable citizens to access their patient summary in a translated format using the so-called central terminology services, which is based on Snomad City. With the potential project, which is uh, using the wallet, the new wallet, will uh, develop the capability to integrate uh, e-prescription and uh, enable European pharmacies to read e-prescription everywhere and identify citizens uh, everywhere in Europe. So this is the first uh, use case, e-health use case, and this is the one single e-health use case for the digital wallet development. And uh, on the right hand side, uh, the importance is that a uh, new standard is set, the HL7 fire standard, and uh, this will be the overall standard of the European health infrastructure, and this will enable interoperability. So in the future, a citizen holding the digital identity wallet solution in her hand can access any health data and share health data with any professionals or any providers. And uh, why I told you the bright future? Because very soon when we are able to provide reliable algorithms, this uh, wallet solution will enable European citizens to receive personalized recommendations, personalized health navigation, personalized uh, diagnosis, based on the data sources which we will make available in the European health data space. The European health data space regulation uh, is awaited for finalization this is the final rush, as I, as I know, 
in the negotiations, and this is expected to be finalized by mid-February during the Belgian presidency. So based on the, on the data sets, based on the mobile backend and the uniform digital identity, we can deliver anything what we want. And what is on the other side? Because we are not implementing robots. So when, when you read uh, legislations, when you read procedures, and uh, when you uh, meet healthcare procedures, you s sometimes get the feeling that uh, the legislators and providers uh, consider us an, as implementing robots, but we are not. We are human beings. And although the target is set, as we have heard, this is one target of the European Compass, of the European Digital Decade, that 100% of European citizens will access to medical data, medical records online. So technologically, yes, technology will be there. However, the environment is changing, so we are in a huge era change. And we come to a, a new age, the data age, and data is our most important resource. And we have generated wicked problems. So if you ask me about solutions, I'm not able to provide solutions. If you read the slides, we have no solutions. In this era of uncertainty, we can develop methods to overcome things, we can harmonize uh, different uh, actions, but nobody knows the solution. So if you hear somebody saying, he's got the solution, be suspicious, because in the current situation there is no solution. And uh, as we have just learned, in Europe we do not have the platform model. The human-centered platform model we lack. And I have n even not met anybody uh, discussing this, and I haven't met any organization putting this on the agenda. We, have, we live in the American platform model. We are slaves, digital slaves of the American platform model. They are selling us. They are selling our digital twin. We need to create the European platform model. And knowing that stored data has no value, only the moving data that provide value. And we put very little attention on foundations. So how we organize data, what metadata we use, and especially we have no knowledge graphs and uh, very well described health journeys in health. We have ontologies, life situation based ontologies in e-governments, e but we have very few knowledge graphs, ontologies in health. Without knowledge graphs, we are not able to explore patterns. So AI is fine, AI is very good, but without patterns, we cannot utilize AI in house. And we are not able to provide motivation for the, for the citizens to share their data. We put very much effort on security, but we don't develop the right message and the right contact on the benefit, on the utility. We lack the platform model, we are not able to provide utility, we, we are not able to provide motivation for the citizens. Although we have a uh, growing asset, the da data asset is, is steadily growing. And you can see from the health literacy survey from 2019 that uh, the health information said shared is not actionable. The European average for easily understandable health information is 21% of citizens claiming that they understand we are talking about. 
by far Ireland is performing the best. Austria and Norway follows, but you can see that in most of the countries, people just simply don't understand what we are speaking about. So they are not really capable. We are not putting enough effort on health literacy and the process of health literacy. So for example, even the expression health care management is not well understood. When we talk about co-creation, we usually uh, refer to developing materials and not co-creating health. And uh, the information doesn't fit all. And uh, 2030, 50% of the European citizens, depending on the member state, has not enough energy to act. As you can see, this typology based on the strengths of the social network the social networks give power to act. And uh, one third, at least one third of the European population has no strength to act. So even they understand, even they accept what they need to do, they do not have the strengths and we are not providing support for that strength. And in the Patent Project, uh, we have uh, developed uh, uh, a scene for, uh, for how to provide value, health value based on data and uh, we'll work on that uh, in the first half of the year. Uh, so by end of June next year, we will provide a policy recommendation how health data need to be used to generate uh, health value. And in the potential project, uh, first we will pilot uh, the use of the wallet and uh, the use of uh, e-prescription in the wallet. And we will also describe different use cases, how a wallet uh, can support uh, patient empowerment, citizen empowerment, health literacy. One important step will be to connect the wallet with the pers personal health record. So, without digital social innovation, we won't succeed. The targets are fine, the European values are fine, technological developments are fine, we pour money on technology development, but uh, Digital social innovation is not on the agenda yet. Without putting digital social innovation on the agenda, we will fail. We won't be able to create the necessary human-centric European platform model. So it's time to work together and implement uh, social innovation. So this is the probably the most important change we need to initiate. And uh, this morning we have just published this uh, data value chain white paper. This work has been carried out at CITRA's National Initiative Network uh, in an international collaboration. So please have a look on that and, uh, and uh, this opens up uh, plenty of uh, new directions for the discussion. And uh, we, wish, uh, we wish you a good collaboration and a good social innovation to shape the future. Thank you.